the line staff is really is an investment in them. You know, they, they get to facilitate change. They, give, they get to see their ideas put up on a screen and see the results and see people buying into it. And that, that really is something that's uh, amazing to see. Staff engagement in creating change is one early result of Washington Department of Corrections' six-month pilot for localizing the agency's performance management system, Results DOC. Both pilot sites, Airway Heights Correction Center and Community Corrections Section 1 in Spokane, have reported positive reactions from line staff. Initially, uh, staff were pretty skeptical. Like, who would want to believe that anybody would want to know what we, we knew or how we felt about doing the job? As that was overcome, they became very positive and energetic. And now the buy-in has created a, a very definitive team atmosphere where we work as a team more than a bunch of individuals in an office. We all worry about the overall impact of what we do. When the pilot wraps up, the sites will deliver a how-to guide for other locations with locally generated ideas for implementing the performance management system statewide. Each pilot location chose to focus on two unique outcome measures and collaborate on a third. Airway Heights focused on policy compliance with facility searches and completing timely performance development plans for staff. Section 1 selected timely intakes for offenders coming to community supervision and policy compliance with minimum offender contact standards. The joint measure focuses on offender release plans. The pilot teams appointed staff-led committees to look at each measure. Working with headquarters performance consultants, the committees created plans and put them into action. The headquarters performance consultant team has been very valuable. They keep us on track. Um, and it's to when we started, they were dictating a lot of the things that we needed to do and helping us do that. And that's what you need at the start of the beginning of it. But as the committees progress, then the performance consultant team becomes a team member and they actually end up working for the committee. Airway Heights also appointed a local project manager to relieve the workload from individual staff members and create structure around the implementation. We realized early that there's a lot of work that goes into this and adding that workload to just a bunch of people, you're not going to get the focus that you need. The results DOC approach acknowledges that the people closest to the work have the best ideas for solving the problems. They are empowered to suggest change and take action without direct instruction from management. You have to trust these committees, you have to trust us to do these things. But the other side of that is you have to show results. And, and luckily we've had some really good committees that are pretty driven to do the right thing. It is a process, but at the end of the process there is success and it is an opportunity for the voice of the, the line staff to be heard on how we do our job, how we accomplish our work, and that is a, a significant success that, that we've enjoyed in this pro project. The time commitment is reaping results both in the improvements in the data-driven measures and in the level of staff engagement and teamwork. Being on this committee makes me realize, oh, okay, so all this little work that I do do, whether it's my position teaching or this committee, it creates a larger effect, not just for me, but ripple effects down to everyone else. And so it makes me realize, okay, if I continue to do this, I can make a difference. So even if it's a little bit, I mean, at least I'm doing something better than nothing. It's shown staff that even when this pilot is done, we will continue to improve processes and look at data in ways we've never looked at it before. I think that staff have looked at the data on, on the dashboard and can see measurable gains. Um, and then when there's dips in that data, then they're going back and they're trying to dig through and identify what went wrong, how can we improve this as, as a unit, as a group, as a team. Um, I think that's just speaks volumes to the tenacity of the staff that we have.